guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually buy and review all affordable and expensive makeup from AliExpress, drugstore, dollar store. I'll test it all on my face and I'll pass the savings to you guys. So this is uh, one of the tutorial videos. This is a look, a trend and also a tribute. So this is a butterfly trend and also a tribute to the Pride Pants and support for the health workers with a rainbow. So if you guys are interested to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so YouTube notifies you when I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this tutorial. So I've seen this trend in a few places on Instagram. There's a lot, there's some YouTubers doing uh, this trend and also Misa recently did the video. Uh, that's our Misa creator of our makeup group, Sexy Sausages. So uh, she did her tribute to the butterfly look and it looked really pretty with the blue and pink. I'm going to list her video down below. So I've been thinking about creating my tribute to the butterfly trend for a while and I've seen some looks on Instagram I got really interested in and also um, June is Pride Month and today is June 1st. So I wanted to release this video for the Pride Month. I'm a big supporter of LGBTQ and plus community. I've always been and I love the love and equality and I stand for it. So I wanted to make this a rainbow and butterfly look. So I'm kind of like going on this trend of butterflies and I'm making a rainbow butterfly. I'm also a big fan of Mariah, of course, <laughs> if you know me. And you know, butterflies and everything. So it's kind of like all over the place. But also, I don't know if you know, but a rainbow is a symbol of support for uh, health workers in this crisis uh, with coronavirus. Maybe not everybody heard about it, but it's kind of uh, symbolic, so it's a good trend to get on. And I just wanted to do my tri tribute for all of it, you know, for the rainbow, for the health workers, and also for the bright months. So that's one of my videos. I'm planning to do more for the month of June. I love doing butterflies. I love doing uh, uh, rainbow looks. So this is gonna be one of the few I'm planning to do. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. I'm going to be doing this tutorial. It is not quick and I'll try to edit it to be as short as possible, but you know me, I like to talk and this is a very tedious process. So, <laughs> If you guys are interested, then keep on watching. You can go and put me on a 1.5 speed if you're tired of me talking. So I'll see you in the tutorial. So this is a concoction of a bunch of primers. So that's Peely's base mixed with wet wild white lipstick and some old white stick I had for years. It came from dollar store, so majority of it is this because we want the shades to pop. So since I'm going for the rainbow and butterfly, for the Pride Month, of course, so that's what happened here. And I wanted to go with um, my Mitchell palette or James Charles, but those colors are really vibrant and a little dark. So I'm going instead with Profusion Neon and Spectrum palettes. And these have all the pastel colors. So. This looks uh, about as rainbow that comes, but it's not too dark because the black against the color should pop. And if the color is too dark purple, you won't see the black. So that's what happened yesterday, which I did not do yesterday because it didn't come out. <laughs> so now we're going for the Spectrum palette first for the color rain right here. Uh, it's like a warm purple. I want to go with the warm tones on top and cool tones on the bottom. So trying to duplicate this. And by the way, it's my latest trend. I blocked my um, 
eyebrow with concealer and color corrector. I have a permanent eyebrow, so I can just uh, color over them to kind of lift them and give me a little more space. So I'm going to start with purple first with the outer corner. So I'm using uh, just a brushes. It's a brush 230 Luxe Petite brush. I'm kind of trying to stay with the same brush range. I'm outlining the corner here first to kind of create like a semicircle. And start here. The good thing about this kind of look, I can always clean up with concealer over because we have black outline. So I'm just trying to see where I went with the other eye. Make sure they match. And of course they won't match, but <laughs> we do what we can. I've seen a lot of this uh, butterfly looks lately. It's like with a trend, it's been a trend for a few weeks already. And I've been thinking about doing my own. Now I wanna, Oh, I mean, our Missa did that with like a blue and pink. So I feel like I want to do my own, but uh, the Pride Month edition. So just like an outline. So I'm taking another, just a brush, just a little bigger brush. And this is a 231 a Luxe Petite Grease. And I'm going kind of a mixture of all pinks. So this is too light and this is too dark. And also the neon palette. I have yet another pink here, like. So I'm gonna mix the like and the other two colors. That's called Rave and Totally. So I'm kind of like tapping between these three to create the perfect blend because we want to go pink, but you want to marry it with the purple. Otherwise, it's too stark. So now I'm gonna start to get the outline of the wing and see, make sure it matches the other eyeball. And of course, if you're planning to do this kind of look, you want to probably start with both eyes at the same time. Because what I do for the video, <laughs> it's not the easiest way to do it. All right, so this one closer to the eyebrow, so I'm gonna put, pull up a little bit more. I'm not worried about the outline yet because I can clean up with concealer afterwards. So going back to the first purple color, green, and going back, green first to purple. Again, we're not fading it out because we have black outline, so it should be actually very pigmented on the very edge because that's the edge of the butterfly wing. So when you put the black line around the purple or against the black line should be real pigmented so you can fix this later which I'm going to show you I'm going to fix that later because once you put the black it kind of gets a little muddy alright so blending back to pink you know all the jazz going between the colors so going for the red, and there is only one red in both palettes. In the neon palette, there is a heat wave right here. So I'm going for the heat wave with a main Morphe brush, about the same um, size. It's like a, not a pencil brush, but it's like a firm, small brush. So it's going to be good for this purpose. This will hand together really easy. I gotta be honest and fair to profusion. In my first review video, I kind of was complaining about the pigmentation, but it depends what base you use. If you use this thick white base that's very opaque, it col the color pops incredibly. So this is a real good palette if you use it uh, in a different way, not your just a regular transparent base. I'm going to orange now. Orange, I'm using just a focal lure brush. Again, kind of the same size, maybe just a little flat here. So we've got two oranges here. Again, I'm gonna just mix them together. We got neons, we got bro. 
which is very close to red, so it's gonna blow and easy. And then I got this one that's very bright, which I like. It's called Beat. That's in Spectrum. So I'm kind of tapping between these two to create a perfect orange. All right, yellow. I'm going right to yellow on my old trusty brush from e.l.f. The one that has no name on it anymore because it's old. <laughs> About the same size, maybe slightly bigger. But it's uh, more of a uh, tapered but firm, so good for laying pigment. So again, mixing the two yellows. This is like a greenish yellow, sunnies, and that's a neons. And then we got another yellow in the spectrum. It's called Marigold, that spectrum palette. Again, mix these two together. As I like the vibrancies of each. So I want to create this perfect vibrant yellow. Look at that yellow, that yellow really pops. So I played with blending a little better, so it's looking better. It's still, I'm not very happy with orange, but we'll blend it later. So now I'm going with this, another brush. Again, a name Morphe brush. This is more like a pencil brush. I'm gonna dip into the blue. I'm going to dip into a few blues. So I put white color pop eye pencil in my waterline because I like white and it works for me. So I'm gonna go first into nautical which is a darker blue, and that's from Spectrum palette. So, trying to duplicate what I did in the other eye. So that's the bottom of the wing. And I'm gonna make a bottom wing a little smaller because I don't want to be, I don't want look, this look like um, a child butterfly makeup, you know what I mean? <laughs> like face paint. I just want this more like artistic look, not into a costume look. The fine line between gaudy and artistic. <laughs> All right, next I'm going into neon. I'm going to seriously. It's called seriously. This is like 80s theme palette. I reviewed it. If you guys are interested, I'm going to link this up here. Put a card here. So this is like a more of a teal blue. All right, so I'm laying out the green. I forgot to turn the camera on, but I'm mixing the two, the Lucky and the Logical. From both palettes, two greens, Lucky and Logical. I mean, you don't have to mix both, because each one of them is a little different. One is a little darker, one's a little lighter. Lucky is darker, and a Logical is a little lighter. So just want to create blend. Kind of mix between two. And for the good measure, I'm gonna go into Peacock. This one. Kind of blend in between the blue and the green. So I'm gonna go with the same brush, the green brush. Just gonna add a little more Peacock here. It's very powdery, so when you apply it close to your eye, be careful because it goes right into your eyeball, if you're not careful. And you don't want this powder in the eyeball. Again, this is very easy to clean up. So what I did after I did the full design, I used Q-tip and micellar water and clean around the edges and then use concealer and a little brush and clean around you know, the perimeter. So when I apply my foundation and concealer, I already have a little bit something around. So it's gonna be easy. Otherwise, it would be difficult to apply uh, concealer around it. Okay, so for the black, you can use any eyeliner. I've seen a lot of people using liquid eyeliners, which works. When I tried this look for the first time yesterday, I used black eyeliner. And it when it starts to dry, it's kind of difficult. This one is a little more pliable. It's for hair gel eyeliner. I used it a lot of my artistic looks on YouTube because it's kind of, um, you can apply it thickly and it's more creamy. And the brush that comes with it is actually very decent. It's very, very sharp at the end. Very, very thin. So it looks like this, just like a gel pot. So I'm going to start lining. So I didn't want this black line all the way down to my inner corner. Because my eyes, uh, I mean, they're not like close set, but I don't like darkness in there. So I want it to like open up. So I'm going to start 
some are just beyond the edge of my brow so this is the end of my brow so I'm gonna go right behind the brow and start lining this is a very tedious process by the way I'm going to speed it up because you can sit here you don't breathe <laughs> and you create the line So I created this line of like a few circles, kind of like some butterflies have those edges. So I wanted to create not just the line, but a little wavy part. And now, as you can tell, there is a little bit of lightness here around the edges. That's exactly what I was talking about when I said, when I apply it, you're gonna see a little bit of a smudginess here and you want it as vibrant as you can. So we take a small brush, really tiny, uh, it's a liner brush. This is from Moda Brushes. You can use any small liner brush. I'm gonna tap into the rain. So that's the first purple we worked with. Rain, this one. So use this brush and just intensify the edges of your wing. Because right around the edges, it got a little light. You want black and a bright color right next to it. See, now it looks better. So after you've done this, now you can intensify the black a little bit because the color went over the black. So you want to intensify back into the gel liner. I think this wing is a little bigger than this one, but it's inevitable. Once you do one eye and you do the other eye later, that's what happens. Uh, we can fix this later. I might add a little more black here on this side. So now I'm going to line, outline the low lash, the low lid. The same kind of principle. I have a couple of this, uh, you know, parts of the wing that's kind of wavy pattern. So try to match the other eyeball as much as I can. Okay, trying to match this stuff. <laughs> it's not easy. So I'm going to draw some more lines, the black lines on top. So kind of create like a abstract wing pattern. So I created one line going in from this crease. So from this crease, I'm gonna go in into my eye crease. And these lines, I mean, I've seen some pictures on Instagram. People go all over the place. It's just really up to the artist to, uh, as to what you wanna do. And to me, it's just your creative uh, decision. So if you look up butterfly pictures on Instagram or on Google, like real butterflies, they have so many different patterns. And a little lines going down and in. So more lines on each part of this wavy pattern I created. Again, trying to match this thing as much as I can. So connect with this line, the one that goes down, so let's see. In the same lines at the bottom. Again, I'll try to match as much as I can. I have a feeling my right eye wing is much bigger wing than the left. Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit around the edges and now uh, the fun part, adding white dots. I'm adding them with NYX white liquid eyeliner and this is like super easy, kind of randomly can add dots. As you can see, I put some uh, rhinestones as well. So first I'm going with the white dots, just randomly plop them. Okay, so this is definitely bigger than the other one, but oh well. <laughs> so now that we've done the white, I'm going to go with the jewels now. 
because everything is better with jewels and I have all kind of colors this is nail art that I usually use in my makeup looks it looks like this all colors of the rainbow so I'm gonna go in the same pattern so I went with the lighter uh, purple here and then pinks like two reds and two yellows I don't have an orange one so I kind of go with like matching color and I'm going to use tweezers and eyelash glue and go painstakingly from one to another so I'm going to show you one and I'm going to do the rest of them off camera because it's a little tedious and nobody's going to be watching this so I got a little bit of glue and I'm going right in the outer corner here bam it's in there so now gazillion more I'm gonna go in the same pattern the greens here and the blues here and all the warm tones upstairs <laughs> and I'll be back okay so that's what I got I fixed it as much as I could this one is I think a little bigger than this one but oh well <laughs> no going back so I added the jewels I cleaned up a little bit so all I have to do is the rest of everything <laughs> so I'm going to add the eyeliner the lashes the mascara and do my base and I'll be back so here's the finished look I gotta tell you guys I'm really happy with this yesterday I did the practice run and came out s-h-i-t-t-y <laughs> yeah it was bad but today I'm really happy the spectrum and neon perfusion palettes are really good for more of pastel looks like this and it's still rainbow but you can see all the details I added a little more glitter on top of the white dots because you know glitter glitter has to go on my balls at the end <laughs> at the end of the day and um, the eyeliner are Milani just a liquid eyeliner and lashes are from Walmart the Salon Perfect uh, pre-permed and the mascara is just Lash Princess I did my base real quick I used the cookie highlighter because you know you want to put cookie with this look this look is my favorite look well one of my favorite reasons I have a feeling it's gonna be one of my favorites let me zoom you out okay so here's the final look in all its glory I put my uh, colorful ball at you so you can see I got my but uh, butterfly ring uh, very Mariah-esque because you know I like my diva pull my wig down as usual <laughs> so here are my butterfly eyes I really like this you know I try to make them not to look like a uh, uh, a face paint for a child for their birthday with more of a like artistic look and I think I succeeded <laughs> I really like this and the whole purpose of this of course is to celebrate the Pride Month today when this video comes out is June 1st so this is beginning of the Pride Month and I'm going to do some tribute looks you know I'm a big supporter of LGBTQ plus community I've always been and I love the love I love the equality and I'm always a big proponent to equality for everyone so I want to really celebrate and you know I want to create some looks and also uh, as you know rainbow is a symbol of health workers uh, in this crisis and COVID-19 it's a really good thing to celebrate and acknowledge the health workers and all they do for us and this is my tribute to all of it the pride months and the support for the health workers so if you guys like this video give this the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time so leave me a comment below let me know what you think have you tried the butterfly trend and I mean that's like all kind of trends in here <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching bye